All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Hold on one second. Let me just take a sip. Kool-Aid tastes great. The Detroit Lions are 1-0, taking down the Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Every young player felt like made an impact in tonight's game. The rookie class looking incredible, but nonetheless, man, Detroit getting the job done, 21 to 20 victory on the road. This is what Lions fans have been dreaming about all summer, and it actually came to fruition. First off, I just want to say, give this Detroit Lions defense credit, man. I'm so curious what the narrative on TV and radio is going to be tomorrow, because all night I heard about how good the Kansas City Chiefs defense was holding up. The Detroit Lions were one of the worst defenses statistically in the NFL last season, and I, I didn't really hear too much praise about them, so we'll just say that. I also, there was no Chris Jones, there was no Travis Kelsey. I'm very curious if the narrative is going to be, oh, well, you know, we've been hyping up Detroit all summer. They were supposed to win the game. In that case... Detroit did what they need to do, and they won a game they were supposed to win. But if we're being real here, the Detroit Lions just shocked a lot of people, all right? And we're going to talk about everything in tonight's game, in tonight's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button. Lions fan, baby, it happened. Let's try and get this video to 1,000 likes to start off the season. Here's a fun little fact. Patrick Mahomes currently leads the NFL in interceptions, but wow. This Lions team, the grit that they showed heading into halftime, you're down 14 to 7. You know, I know there was that touchdown drive with Jared Goff and St. Brown, but the offense wasn't really running that smoothly. You know, David Montgomery tonight, 21 carries, 71, 74 yards, average just 3.5 yards per rush. Jameer Gibbs showed a lot of playmaking ability tonight. That's why people were licking his chops that he was drafted in the first round. Jameer Gibbs, for a running back of his size especially, he, people are having a lot of difficulty trying to tackle this guy. He ended the night seven carries, 42 yards, including a long at 18 in the fourth quarter when a penalty, Just a, there were definitely a couple of miscues for the Lions. We'll talk about that later on in the video. But uh, Jameer Gibbs on what was it, first and 15, getting a huge first down when Arrowhead was getting loud there in the fourth quarter, getting down to crunch time. Every possession counts at Jameer Gibbs. Like, I mean, he was a huge, he pretty much sealed the deal for that victory tonight. So Jameer Gibbs, welcome to the NFL. Another guy, welcome to the NFL, Brian Branch with a pick six. This was the first time since like 1949 that a Detroit Lion rookie has had a pick six in their debut Brian Branch, he got banged up. It was cramps. He came back in the game. But a pick six on Patrick Mahomes in your first ever NFL game. 50 yards. I know Kadarius Tony dropped it. <laughs> Kadarius Tony shot out, uh, by the way, because he was a huge help in tonight's game. Uh, but Brian Branch, man, welcome to the NFL as well. So these rookies making a big time impact. Jack Campbell had a phenomenal pass deflection. It was early on, first half in the game. Phenomenal pass deflection of another rookie and then another rookie sam laporta five catches 39 yards for a long of 14 sam laporta what or tight end number one you know we were talking about him all off season we we're talking about him in the preseason we were talking about the chemistry with jared goff <laughs> he, he already looks like a favorite but i'm on ross st brown the dude's a stud. Six catches, 71 yards, and a touchdown in the first quarter. Josh Reynolds, though. Josh Reynolds, four catches, 80 yards. And I thought I, had, I was thinking of this in the game. Everybody was worried about the Lions wide receiver core, especially like just depth in general because of Jameson Williams' suspension, especially didn't help. <laughs> Lions fans certainly were not worried about their wide receiver depth, depth because of guys like Josh Reynolds tonight. Four catches, 80 yards for a long of 33. Khalif Raymond also chipping in with one catch for 20 yards. <laughs> the Lions fans certainly are not worried about their wide receiver depth. I'll just tell you that. I, I thought that was funny. Um, dude, I just want to take a quick moment to be like, wow, 
Uh, but once again, you know, there were some miscues. You know, there were some stupid penalties. Uh, there were, you know, a, a tough fumble, a miscommunication or poor timing, poor communication fumble. Uh, but then there were also like the one turnover, the one Lions turnover of the game was a Marvin Jones fumble. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was his first fumble ever. Uh, Marvin Jones Jr. is not a rookie, uh, as Lions fans know. He's 33 years old. Um, first fumble of his NFL career. So we'll never see that again. Uh, but, you know, Marvin Jones Jr., it's going to take a little bit more time, I guess. Two catches, eight yards. He did get targeted six times. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it wasn't always perfect. But Jared Goff, 22 of 35, 253 yards and a touchdown. He made throws when he needed to make throws. And we've talked a lot about this summer. A lot of people were worried about Jared Goff thinking, you know, I, I don't really know why you could be worried about Jared Goff, actually, but he demonstrated tonight. Jared Goff's a top quarterback. He's top 10 quarterback in the National Football League, but it wasn't perfect. You know, it just wasn't smooth sailing. He made throws when he needed to make throws. He put the ball into tight windows when he needed to. I loved the play action. We know it's his bread and butter, specifically with Amon Ross St. Brown. But for a non-perfect offensive game, you know, definitely took a while to kind of get in the swing of things outside of that first touchdown of the game super solid jared goff did exactly what he needed to do um, all right defensively i know travis kelsey wasn't in the game but patrick mahomes two, 21 to 39 226 two touchdowns at interception this was by far patrick mahomes's worst first game of the season in his entire nfl career until tonight it, it just was a it's a fact that patrick mahomes is like the best week one quarterback in nfl history the detroit lions i mean it's just crazy how little respect they were getting on the broadcast in that game patrick mahomes with travis kelsey or no travis kelsey i don't care <laughs> patrick mahomes did not play a good football game the lions defense i know they didn't they actually didn't get an entire sack the game they had seven total quarterback hits. They were applying pressure, especially late in the game. Aiden Hutchinson, three total quarterback hits. But guys like C.J. Gardner-Johnson, you know, making an immediate impact to this Detroit Lions secondary that was bolstered in this past offseason via free agency and through the draft. C.J. Gardner-Johnson on the last Chiefs possession of the game had back-to-back -back pass deflections that were just beautiful. I mean, he almost had an interception. But right before that, he broke up a catch. I mean, this is a legit defense. This is a legit team. That fake punt to start off the game, I absolutely love that. Dan Campbell has balls, and you have to love that, and you have to respect that. As I say that, I'm looking at myself in the camera right now wearing my Green Bay Packers beanie, but that's what you're taught. That's, that's what you're raised on. Give credit where credit is due. I don't care what the narrative is tomorrow on ESPN or whatever. They're going to talk about missing Chris Jones, Travis Kelsey. Put some respect on the Detroit Lions, man. That Kool-Aid has tasted so good for so long. It's perfectly blue. There's refreshing ice cubes in it. And we saw tonight exactly why people have been talking about the Kool-Aid. The Detroit Lions have arrived, baby. And tonight, official regular season football on the road, they take down as Chris Collinsworth said, the world champions. No Lyle Sommer was pissed off, but that's it for tonight, man. Uh, <laughs> we're going to talk more Detroit Lions uh, this weekend, but just first reactions a little late here. I, you couldn't have asked for better. I know it wasn't a perfect game, but a win is a freaking win in the National Football League. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, but tell me everything and anything you guys have to say about tonight's game in the comments. Peace.